Okay, we're going to continue with our previous video, and in this video, we're going to talk about passing parameters to our script, and as well as um, if statements and for loops. Okay, first of all, let's talk about um, some of the predefined variables contained in our program and contained in Bash. This is going to contain the number. It's going to contain the number of um, parameters passed to our program. I should really say script because this is a script. It's not a program like C++ or something. Okay, or C, or you know. Um, also, let's uh, say that. And I really can't spell, so I'm sorry. Okay, so this is uh, the actual list. Um, okay, so the first one in this case, that tells us that's the predefined variable that contains the number of parameters passed to a given script. And this is the actual content, you know, passed to our script. So let me execute this and show you what's going on. And I really, I call this a list, but it's actually an array. Okay, it's an array. So if anybody <laughs> knows what's going on, please don't yell at me. <laughs> Alright, so let's execute it ls dot my shell dot sh boom um, as you can see we pass nothing to the script so therefore nothing is contained in the script let's say we pass in a couple a simple sentence okay now it says that it has four parameters passed to our script and the actual values are such so if we count them, it says 1, 2, 3, and 4, and indeed it is 4. Okay, now let's, want, let's write a simple um, condition uh, using if statements and say we expect our program to receive at minimum uh, 5 parameters. And if it doesn't contain 5 parameters, we're going to display an error message to the user. How do we do that? Well, it's actually quite simple. So let's start get started with that. We're going to say if, and we're going to put our condition between uh, curly these square brackets. We're going to say if our dollar sign argument count is not equal to, let's say five. Okay, put a qu quote uh, semicolon there and say then. Okay, so if this statement is not true, then basically we're going to say there's an error. We're going to say uh, to the user, okay, but also we're going to say if, so if this is true and, our, and the number of arguments is not equal to 5, then we're going to say you did not correct, you did not supply the correct amount of uh, parameters to our program. However, if it is equal to 5, if it is equal, okay, and if we run it, and remember we have 4 passed to our script, and they are these, and we need at least five. Okay, so the first situation was executed. Now let's run that again and we, let's add one more word. Cats are cool, dude. I don't know. Random retarded statement. Oh, and now we get something else. Congratulations, you entered the correct amount of arguments, and they are such. And so basically, that's how you do an if statement. Uh, just take a note at the syntax, basically the structure of it all, um, which is to say that if, and then you put in square 
uh, brackets the condition and the condition has to be something like this uh, likewise you can have something like uh, you know your operators condition operators can be if something is equal you just use an equal sign like that equal greater than or equal greater than less than um, a whole bunch of you know this is not equal I think that's a whole bunch of just all the permutations such as that um, and I think that's it so that's how you would put other conditions if you wanted so that's a simple in and out of if statements in the next tutorial I'll talk about um, how to do for loops so see me in the next tutorial and please uh, rate and subscribe thank you